and welcome back to the NASCAR 2001 Let's Play. We're heading into race number eight of the Let's Play series, Martinsville, Virginia, at the Martinsville Speedway for the running of the Goodies Body Pain Relief 500. We're coming into the event where Dale Earnhardt Jr. holds a 208 point advantage on Ward Burton, 232 over Bob the Body, who holds a 15 point third place spot point lead over Tony Stewart. Both had great runs. Terry Labonte also had a great run, tied for eighth in the points with Dale Jarrett at 995 points. Mike Skinner holds the last top 10 spot in the points, just 22 ahead of Ricky Rudd, 24 ahead of Dale Earnhardt, who finished last at the Texas race. He's hoping for another reboundation at Martinsville. Bill Elliott on a roll here with consistent top 10 finishes. But Jeff Gordon and Matt Kenza need to have wins to get themselves locked into the top 10 in points. Chad Little, Jeffrey Bodine, Kevin LePage, Daryl Walter, Ken Schrader, Bobby Hamilton, John Andretti, Scott Pruitt, Steve Park, Jimmy Spencer, Wally Dullenbach, Kenny Irwin Jr., Sterling Marlin, Jeremy Mayfield, Kenny Wallace, Jerry Nadeau, Joni Machek, Kyle Petty have competed races so far, the first six, or excuse me, the first seven. So let's get race number eight at Barnesville underway. So here we go. Springtime brings the promise of new beginnings. Each week is a proving ground as teams are eager to prove that last year's success wasn't a fluke. Last year's shortfall is not an indication of things to come. New drivers enter the fray to forge a solid foundation for a great racing season. The teams with the right high-octane blend of talent, timing, and tenacity all right we made it into spring of the let's play series loading nascar ea sports the goodies body pain 500 let's get this race underway all right starting on pole for the Martinsville starting lineup is Mike Skinner, who's on the bubble at the top 10 in points. The number six car, Mark then it's Mark Martins Ford in the number six car. The number 25 car, Jerry Nadeau. Starting in third is car number 25, driven by Jerry Nadeau. The number 26 car, Jimmy Spencer. Then in fourth place is the 26 Ford of Jimmy Spencer. Then in fifth place is car number 24, driven by Jeff Gordon. He needs a win to get into the top 10 in points. The number 22 car, Ward Burns. Then it's Ward Burns Pontiac in, in the sixth starting spot. The number five car, There's Jeff Terry Labonte in seventh place with a great run at Texas last race, followed by his younger brother, Bobby Labonte, in the number eight spot in his number 18 car. The number 94 car Bill then it's Bill Elliott starting in ninth place, putting up with consistent top 10 finishes. Can he go for another one? Let's find out and see. Car, then rounding out the top 10 starting spots are is the two of Rusty the Wallace. Car, then it's Matt Kenseth's Roush Racing Ford in the 17 car. The car then Dale Jarrett will start 12 in his number 88 Ford. Then it's Dale Hart's number three Chevrolet in the 13th starting spot. Then 14th is Tony Stewart. Starting in 15th is Joe Nemechek, who's also going to be in the Martinsville race with Nadu and Spencer. And the others. The number 28 car, then 16th through 18th are Ricky Rudd and Jeff Burden's the Fords. Car, Jeff and then starting in dead last, who I'm driving, is this guy. Car, car number 8, driven by Dale Earnhardt Jr., who has won the last two races so far and trying to go for his sixth win of the season. Can he get her done? Let's get this race started right now. Green flags out and here we go at Martinsville. Oh, a little bit of a bump. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is continuing to improve his positions. And oh, he gets a little bit loose. Here comes Earnhardt back to the inside. Oh, check out, check out. Holy Dale Jarrett. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm loose. And 
And now to the inside of Gordon for eighth. And oh, look out the walls right there. And yep, I just hit that one. I was trying to avoid hitting the inside wall, and that's why I hit the outside wall there. My apologies. Mike Skinner led lap, and now Mark Martin has led a lap. Oh, booted Spencer out of the way. Now going for third on Terry Labonte. Mark Martin continues to lead at Martinsville. Oh, got into the grass. Get out of the grass. And now here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. for second on Mike Skinner, and he'll take the position away. So Mike Skinner and Mark Martin got five points for leading laps. But now Dale Earnhardt Jr. wants another five points for himself. And another victory. He'll shove Mark Martin out of the way and take the lead away. And he'll get five points. 20 to go at Martinsville. All right, things are going good so far. Here comes Terry Labonte for third. He'll take it for Mike Skinner. Oh God, this car is really loose. Jr. continues to lead over Mark Martin. The positions continue to shuffle. Seventeen to go at Martinsville. Oh, look out! The grass was right there. I don't want to hit it. Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to lead at Martinsville. Mark Martin is closing in. He wants the lead desperately, and he wants it now. He's trying to take it away, but Dale Jr. is going to have to make him earn it. The number eight car has a strong hold on first. Mark Martin trying to get closer and closer and closer. After Martinsville, Talladega is up next, where the drivers have to avoid the big one. But oh boy, more lap traffic coming into play, and whoa, Junior lost it, but saves it. Bill Elliott's dead last. That's not where he wants to be. Now Dale Jr. is approaching lap traffic. He's getting closer and closer and closer. And our race leader continues to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, Bill Elliott's going to have to try his hardest to block that eight car because he's the race leader. Oh, Dale Jr. to the inside. And he puts him one lap down. Oh, and Elliott goes into the wall. Now Mark Martin want, has, has got to get around him to keep up with that eight car. Oh, look out. Junior's in the wall. But it keeps on going. Now putting Joe Nemechek one lap down in 17th position. Oh, Jeff Bird and Matt Kinsa. They're about to be the next cars to be one lap down. Ten laps of racing left. Oh, Jeff Burton's trying to hang on, but he could not do it. Tried that crossover move on Matt Kenseth, but it won't work, but that'll bring Dale Jr. closer. Nine to go at Martinsville. Oh, now Jeff Burton falls one lap down. 
Oh, but look out. Now Matt Kenseth falls one lap down himself. And now Jimmy Spencer in the 26 car is about to fall one lap down. Now Spencer's trying to stay on the lead lap, but could not do it. Burton and Kenseth battle for positions. Now Ricky Rudd in the 28's about to go one lap down. Seven to go at Martinsville this time. Then it's Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, and Tony Stewart. Oh, and here comes Dale Jr. to the inside, and he'll put Ricky Rudd in the 28, one lap down. The GM Goodrich Chevrolet is now being shown in the top five. Oh, look out. Oh, Gordon's in the wall, and Dale Jr. passes him to put him one lap down. Oh, that's going to bring Ricky Rudd closer and closer for another position. These guys are ahead, trying to keep Dale Jr. at bay to prevent themselves to go one lap down, but uh-oh, Ward Burns in trouble. Oh, look out. Rusty's in the fence. That's going to give him an opportunity to put him one lap down. And now Ward Bird will get a position gain. Now Jeff Gordon wants another position for himself. And he's got the position. Now try to go for another one on Ward Burton. Four to go at Martinsville. Four laps of racing left at Martinsville. Gordon gets by Ward Burton. Oh, look, oh, go, oh, golly, args. And now Gordon's going to lose positions to Ward Bird and Rusty Wallace. Three to go at Martinsville. Ah, Jiminy Criminies. Dale Earnhardt Jr. puts Jerry Nadia one lap down. Oh, golly, I cleared the 25 car. Two to go at Martinsville. Dale Jr. is on his way to his sixth win of the season. Only two laps of racing left to go. Oh, got a car on the wall up ahead. Tony Stewart in the 20. Jr. gets into the grass, but gets closer and closer to Tony Stewart. One to go. Now Tony Stewart falls one lap down. Leaving Dale Jarrett, the last car, on the lead lap. And here he comes off of turn four for his sixth win of the season. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the win at Martinsville. My car was so loose all race long, but I managed to fight it and get myself to the front of the win. Looks like Dale Jarrett just lost it right there. He was dealing with lap traffic, but still held on for his sixth win of the season. All right, Dale Earnhardt Jr. first, Mark Martin second, Terry Labonte third, Bobby Labonte fourth, Mike Skinner fifth, Dale Earnhardt sixth, Dale Jarrett seventh, Tony Stewart eighth, Jerry Nadeau ninth, Jeff Gordon tenth, Russ Wallace eleventh, Ward Burton twelfth, Ricky Rudd thirteenth, Jeff Burton fourteenth, Matt Kitts at fifteenth, Jimmy Spencer sixteenth, Johnny Machek seventeenth, and Bill Elliott finishes in dead last. So now Bobby Labonte is up to second in the points, Ward Burton to third in the points, Mark Martin to fourth in the points. Tony Stewart 5th, Terry Labonte 6th, Jeff Burton 7th, Dale Jarrett is 8th, Rusty Wallace 9th, Mike Skinner is 10th on the playoff bubble. Showing, currently showing. Thirty-four points ahead of Rusty, or no, not Rusty Wallace, 34 ahead of Dale Earnhardt. With, who's got another top 10 finish. And Dale Earnhardt needs another great run next race. The same for Ricky Rudd. Bill Elliott dropped to 14th in the points with that bad last place finish. Matt Kenseth goes by. 
Jeff Gordon got a top 10, but he needs another good run next race. So Jerry Nato moves up to 16th in the points, passing Chad Little. Jimmy Spencer is up to 19th in the points with 239. Nato has 250. Joe Nemechek, 221. That's your point standings after eight races. So the next race is Talladega. We'll see you then.